2021 was my biggest year ever of earning the most amount of American Express points in history, at least in my history. In fact, Amex's dashboard showed that I earned 1.3 million points over the course of the year. And that does not include the roughly 400,000 point secret stash that I also have coming to me in about another month that Amex isn't even aware of yet. But more on that later in this video. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all your credit cards and rewards in one place. All right, so earning well over a million points in one year with American Express obviously requires some explanation here. So let's go ahead and hop over to my computer and I'll walk you through the whole process with some charts, graphs, and explanation of how I really pulled this off. All right, so as we dive in here, what I first wanna do is show you where you can go to see how many points you've earned with American Express within the given year. So I've got my web browser pulled up here. I'm gonna first go to americanexpress.com and log in here in the top right. Okay, so here we are now on my main dashboard here on my home screen. I have 316, 333 points still yet to be redeemed. So I've done a number of redemptions throughout the year. Those are the ones that are still left. And to find your current balance, you wanna to go to either Explore Rewards right here or on the Rewards tab here at the top. Either way, will lead you to the same place. Okay, now once you get to this page here, you wanna to go to the Rewards tab right here with a down arrow, and then tap on Points Summary. And let this page load again, and you'll be able to see your actual breakdown by month and also by year. So you can see here at the moment, let me zoom in a little bit for you all. Earned since January 1st, 2022. I'm filming this on January 5th. So of course, I haven't earned any points yet. It's the beginning of a new year. I wish there was a historical way to view uh, total since January 2021, for example, the past year, but they don't have that. So what you can do here is actually scroll down and go to a date range. It only shows you 12 months at a time. So now I can only see February through the current um, uh, most recent 12 months. So you, know, you can tap on any month you want here and see right here as I highlight how many rewards you earn within that month. So for me, that was 136,669. And again, when you're in your current year, it'll show you the total here as well. So that's why I took a screenshot. I put it here in PowerPoint as I was doing like four back-to-back -back trips. Uh, you can see the screenshot here was on December 31st because I knew that page would be totally gone by the time I got back from my trip. So I wanted to get a screenshot of this here. And so you can see 1,341,038 points since January 1st, 2021 of course, cutting off at the end of the year on December 31st. Now, the title of this video said I earned 1.7 million points, and that is still true. This is only the points that Amex was aware of. I've got another 398,000 or so, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a few moments. All right, so now moving on to how I earn points in 2021, you'll notice there are seven different methods here. Uh, number one was spending, of course, on my American Express cards. That is the Blue Business Plus. That is also the green card plus the gold card, plus the Amex Platinum card. So those are the four that I'm using together. And whether you're using Amex or Chase or anybody else, if you are into maximizing rewards, you don't wanna just have one card. Because if you do, that means probably the bulk of your purchases will be earning one point per dollar. That's why I use the Blue Business Plus for all my non-bonus spend because it earns double points on everything. So I'm never earning less than two points per dollar um, unless, again, I'm using some statement credits on other cards instead. Number two was welcome bonuses. That's, of course, if you open a new card account, you spend a certain amount of money on the card in a certain time frame, then they'll give you a nice outsized bonus like 30, 50, 70, 100,000 points all up front like that to get you on your way to earning a bunch of cash back or points, whatever it happens to be. Number three, authorized user bonuses. When I add somebody to my card account and then they spend a certain amount of money in a certain time frame, I'll then receive a bonus for doing that. Number four, retention offers. That's when you go in to cancel your card, usually when the annual fee posts. So you chat or call American Express saying, hey, I'm considering canceling my card. Are there any offers or incentives you can help me uh, to justify the annual fee for the next year? Number five is pay over time activation. American Express on their charge cards, like the green, gold, and um, platinum, for example, have this, uh, have this pay over time feature. And just so you all can see it as well, here's a screenshot I took of that pay over time offer. I found it by logging into my Amex account, going to statements and activity here at the top, and then I simply saw it right here. Earn 30,000 points after you activate pay over time, plus the flexibility to carry a balance with interest terms apply. Again, I don't carry a balance, but it just says activate it. So I clicked the activate now link, 
went through the terms and conditions, submitted the application, and it was a done deal within about one day, 30,000 points right to my account. Then number six, we've got card referrals. That is you referring somebody else to sign up for a card of their choice. And if they get uh, approved for the card account, then you will receive a bonus and they will then receive their own welcome bonus. And then number seven is Rakuten. That's an online shopping portal. If you're not familiar with it, I do mention it in a lot of the intros and outros to my videos. It's a shopping portal to earn additional cash back on top of the rewards of your credit cards. You can turn the settings in your profile to switch it from cashback to American Express membership rewards points. Okay, now on to the breakdown of each of those seven categories. The way I've laid this out is I've got the month here on the left-hand corner, so January through December of 2021. Uh, then I have these seven different categories going across in columns. So the points I earn from spending per month, then the welcome bonuses, the authorized user bonuses, retention offers, pay over time, referrals, uh, right to 10, and then the totals. If you go across each month there, you'll have the total for the month, and then the final totals per category there at the bottom. So for the amount of points I earned through spending on my cards, it was 240,625 points. Uh, I did spend here at the bottom $97,968.14 on my American Express cards across all of them over the course of 2021. So that yielded an average return of 2.45 points per $1 spent. Now normally I don't spend that much in a year, it was kind of an outlier year for me, but the way I was able to pull that off was because I was helping another company with their advertising. So whether it was Google Ads, Facebook ads, etc. I negotiated to have that spend put on my cards to earn the rewards. So whether that was to meet a sign-up bonus or to earn four points per dollar on advertising with my Amex Business Gold card, either way, it helped me really accelerate those earnings very, very quickly. Up next, we had the welcome bonuses. I got four different ones throughout the year. This 50K was a Business Gold card. 100K was, I believe, a Business Platinum. 150k was another business platinum and 90k was another business gold so those were the four that i got there for 390,000 points i was also targeted to add an authorized user to one of my cards that earned 25,000 points i believe they had to spend two thousand dollars in six months so a very simple spend requirement for them then we had a retention offer a couple of them actually one was 30,000 points the other was 20,000 for 50,000 points and retention offers Pay over time, as I showed you earlier, was 30,000 points just for clicking a single button on my screen. And then referrals. So as people use my links to sign up for a card, they get their welcome bonus. I'll get a smaller referral bonus and that equaled 295,000 points uh, over the course of that year. Then we had Rakuten as well. I also put a ton of business spend through Rakuten, for example, on Vistaprint. Many hundreds of dollars went through that, I think earning like eight or 10 points per dollar for all that spend. Plus, again, uh, Rakuten has a big referral program too. So once you sign up for Rakuten, you can then use your link, have other people use it to sign up for their own accounts, and you'll get a referral bonus, and so will the other person. So then here on the far right column, we have the monthly totals, followed by the grand total overall for 1,341,038 points. And no, I have not forgotten about the 1.7 million total. We're almost there, just hold with me. Those have not yet been factored in. First though, here's a graphical representation of the chart that you just saw with the spending here on the far right, all the way through Rakuten in the light blue. So the biggest earning uh, categories for me were the welcome bonuses, followed by Rakuten in second place, and referrals in third place. Now, if we compare all the points that I earned from spending compared to everything else, Here's what the graph looks like. Only 18% of my points earned were from spending on my cards. The other 82% was everything else. So hopefully this really brings to light for all of you out there that using the right card at the right time while still extremely important to maximize your return is definitely not everything. All right, and now I shall reveal to all of you the missing 398,000 points. So let me close out of this here and pull up my web browser. I'm gonna go over to racketend.com to my account. And as you're able to see here, I have a remaining 390,305 points waiting to be transferred over to American Express. So if I go over to, let's see, the earnings balance right here, you can now see on this line here at the top, the 398,000 points will be transferred to your American Express account on the 2nd of February, 2022. Now the way Rakuten pays out, let me show you this. I'll click on learn more about payments. So on this page, it shows you that when you made your purchases or you earned points uh, from January uh, 1st through March 31st, those are paid out in May and so on and so forth. So the periods here when your purchase is posted, those are normal quarters of the year, January through March, April through June, July, September, and October through December. So the actual points that I earned at the beginning of this year from Rakuten 
were first given on February 15th, but that was from the previous year of uh, October through December of 2020. That means if we go back over to the slides here and on the graphical chart, let um, me make this full screen, um, the first payment from Rakuten, which is February right here, 37955 even though I've received them in early 2021, those were actually earned in the last year, so the quarter four of 2020. In other words, the 398,000 points were actually earned in October through December of 2021, but I'm going to receive them later uh, this year in 2022 when I'm making this video. So if we now go over to the spreadsheet that I used to originally make all that stuff that you saw in the slides, uh, here in the top left-hand corner, I have Amex points that were earned. That was the 1.34 million. Then the pending points from Rakuten at 398, uh, but we of course got to subtract these right here, the 37,955, because those were earned in 2020. So I'll take this, move myself over, and subtract out minus 37,955, so H7. So subtract those out. So really it was 1.303 million. Uh, plus the right to 10 pending that were earned in 2021, paid out later, all in, that was 1.701 uh, million points. And there you have it. That's my breakdown of how I earned over 1.7 million points within one year's time. And as a major takeaway for all of you watching this video, remember that I showed at least seven ways to earn Amex points in this video. There could be even more that I'm not even aware of right now, but just swiping your card does not have to be the only way you earn points. So if you have any authorized users you can add, if there are any retention offers, referral bonuses, anything like that you can think of, get a little bit creative, and you might be able to walk away with a lot more points than you ever thought. And to bring this video to a full stop, I want to thank the company that allowed me to help them with their marketing over the past year of 2021 and to put all that spend on my cards to earn a lot of those points. Also to all of you out there who used any of my referral links, whether it was to Rakuten or individual credit cards, a sincere thank you goes out to each and every one of you. All the points earned from those referrals go a long way to support this channel. So again, I thank you so much. And it's my sincere hope that as we move into the next year, that this channel will continue to bring you consistent value each and every week as you learn how to maximize your rewards, put more more money in your pocket or take some trips of a lifetime that you saved a ton of money on. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit others, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all your credit cards and rewards in one place. And yes, Matt's Rewards will also help you keep track of all your Amets points as well. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value. I'll see you again in future videos. And until then, remember, you are great.